Hello beautiful Pisces. Welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and this is officially for me the last reading for um, 2023. Now I know I say that and tomorrow I'm going to be doing um, readings but it's going to be for January. So that's officially 2024 and then the reading after that is going to be for January. Um, the week, the first week of January. So this is officially the last one for 2023. Um, I want to look at what we're going to be leaving behind in 2023 and what we're going to be moving forward in 2024. And I hope it's a lot of garbage that we're leaving in 2023, I have to tell you. Um, I've been looking at stuff and there's so much garbage out there, Pisces. Honestly, um, I try to get away from it, but... Every, you can't. You just can't get away from it. Um, it's 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 quite. Yeah, it takes it takes a lot. So I'm just gonna start the reading, and I'm gonna let the guides come in, and I feel them. They're here. They're good. Um, I'm just gonna let them speak, and I'm gonna hold my own tongue. Because um, the last couple of days, I've, I've really felt overwhelmed by the garbage I've been seeing. And I'm, I think there's a reason for that. I think that one of the things that I'm going to have to do for myself in 2024, and I suggest it for you as well, is to really filter out the garbage as much as possible. And it's quite easy to do in one way. Um, as the ancestors were talking about, don't push yourself into a corner. That would be one. Um... And you can tell by the vibe of it. You can tell by the vibe of it. And it's not like feeling bad because something terrible's happened. You know, life happens and stuff, and sometimes we feel bad. This is about people who make you feel bad, content that makes you feel bad. You can veer away from this. You can immediately do something about it, okay? Even on a YouTube app, you can do something about it, okay? You can tell them, I don't want to see this content anymore. Um, and they will veer you away. Let's change the algorithm to give us something that's going to help us out. Not make us feel like crap. Okay, so, you know, I hate to say that, and I know, uh, because I'm sure that uh, people who of certain places have done the same thing, right? King of Wands. Okay, so I've, I've probably had it done to my own channel for people who I wasn't their cup of tea. And, you know, that's fine. And it's always those people who do it. Us as nice people, we let people just kind of live and let live. I think it's time to take action, okay? I feel that, especially with the King of Wands, it's time to say, that's enough, okay? Um, what kind of content do I want out there? Do I, do I want people I love to see this kind of content, you know? One that promotes hate, intolerance. Do we really want that? No, we don't want that. Honestly, we don't. Okay, and if even if it's somebody who should have a voice, it's not at the expense of hating on other people. Okay, and a lot of this stuff is nothing, it, there's no education behind it, it's just personal opinion. But depending on how they're speaking it forward or, or bringing it forward, they're making it sound like fact. There's a lot of Page of Swords energy here. It's just enough that it sounds like some kind of truth and people buy into it. And like I said, um, like I was saying yesterday, if people are vulnerable and available to be manipulated, then instead of looking for answers from themselves in a moment of weakness, we'll end up following the wrong people who are just going to take more advantage of them in the long run. They may look like really great people. So... This first card is the biggest one of all because it's saying that this is the year that we're going to leave those weaknesses behind. This year, 2024, is going to be the year of strength and empowerment. The fire energy is prevalent here. We have the card of strength. So it's the strength isn't forcing the issue. Remember the strength card. The strength card, she is not forcing the, the lion's mouth open. She is um, working it so that it you know, it works in her favor. She uses other methods, okay? And people may call it manipulation. That's not it. I think it's just vibing in the right direction. She uses the brave heart, the courage, trust, self-assurance, 
okay? Um, inner strength. Um, how to work with things and, and find a balance between them, okay? Yeah, I feel like I've had a fire uh, put under my butt. It's been quite interesting this week because I feel like I've been annoyed completely, okay? And this is going to bring in an accountability because these people, they don't think they're accountable. Either that or they really don't think further than what they're doing, right? It's either I'm going to line my pocket or I'm going to voice my opinion and hope that people are going to follow me. Okay, and some of some people may come in here and say, Jane, well, how is what you're doing any different? I uh, don't know. Probably, I don't know. Um, some people would call this, you know, not spirituality. They'd call it, oh, that's just somebody's personal opinion. Maybe so. But like I said, what I want you to be is to take charge of your life, to be responsible for your actions. I don't want you to put it in anybody's hands, okay? Um, you work with spirit. You don't hand it over to spirit and go, here, fix everything for me. Um, that's not living your life. Just like I, I also don't do those kind of readings where somebody tells me, tell me what to do. I can tell you how you can empower yourself. I can tell you how spirit's telling you, please, you know, pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to this. Do, you know, look at this further. See, uh, mine for those answers. Empower yourself and move forward, okay? Take responsibility for your own actions. Because if you put your trust and fate in somebody else, and they make the, the decision for you, in the end, you know what? They're not going to take responsibility for having, taking or giving you an answer to the, the, uh, um, to the question that you were asking. Of course not. They're going to come back in the end, look at you and say, um, well, you had a choice of whether or not to take my advice. Okay? Just like everybody else, they're going to wash their hands of it. Okay? Either that or going to change their minds. Oh, well, that's not what I meant when I gave you that information. Okay? So in the end, Pisces, you're going to be accountable for your actions, whether you take somebody's advice or not. Okay? So my advice to you this year and every year that is following and coming in is trust in yourself. Trust in your intuition. Listen to yourself. Be strong within yourself. Work inside of that beautiful inner light. Okay? You are not as powerless as you think. You are much more powerful than you think. And then when you succeed, and you will, because if you work at it and you're not looking at everybody else to make those decisions for you, when you make decisions for yourself and know what feels good for you and feels right for you, and you succeed, you're going to feel very good within yourself, knowing that was all you, okay? And yes, you'll give kudos where kudos is due. You'll say, thank you for the help. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for helping me see that I'm empowered and I've had such compliments. But in the end, anybody who said that to me, I always tell them, you did the work. You did it. The success is all you. I'm just a voice. I'm just somebody talking here. Okay? Yeah, and I took charge of that, by the way. Yes, that's Jane. But trust me, spirit, they're standing beside me like centaurs in full agreement and cooperation with me. Like that. Okay? It's all about the choice. The lovers is a commitment. It's a commitment to harmony. It's a commitment to making the choices that are going to be important to you. It's committing to your well-being, to your happiness, to being without fear, without blocks that cripple you permanently, okay? You get the heart and the head united, okay? And you tune into your heart's desires while paying attention to everything else, your your energy, your logic, everything that matters to you, okay?
There you go. And there you go. You have the strength card. You see this? Look at that. That's a year of eight. And there it is. That's you. See? The eye of the tiger, the heart of a lion, whatever you want to call it. This is going to radiate from you. Okay? You won't need any help in the upcoming year to get forward. You're not going to need... It's not any help. That's wrong. You're not going to need to have a crutch. And that's the most important lesson they want you to know going in 2024. You don't need a crutch to move forward. You can do it on your own. You can manage. No problem. Okay? You can do it. And you will do it. Alright. So, I love this deck. But I'm going to use a different one now. Let's see. Let's take... Let's take the light sears. I've been focusing on tarot decks a lot more this week than any oracle. I will be using oracles again next week for the first week of January. So it's going to be a power, a power year. 2024 is all about power. I almost feel that this is a call to action. Look at this. See that? I love that. It feels right. What are going to be the... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say fallout, but that's almost like... the. That's what it, it is, right? The consequences to these actions is going to be creativity. And we got that yesterday as well, and we're getting it again today. Um, creativity. You're going to be bringing life to new ideas. You're going to nurture them. Why? Because you're going to become fertile. You're going to be love. You're going to be nurturer. You're going to be abundant. You're going to be able to indulge in the things that you want to create. Because you don't need permission from anybody to create them. You don't need to second guess yourself. You're under your own power. You're very powerful. Okay? And you know... You know that you are accountable for everything that you do. So you're going to do it in a way that's going to benefit everybody. Okay? And trust me, if you're a person of good soul, a good soul, you know, a good heart. And even if you're not, even if you, if you, that's not what I mean. Even if you have like sometimes that you falter a little bit, you know, you get a little selfish around the edges. We all, we've all had that. Something inside of you is going to tell you. You're going to have like that homing signal that's going to say, do you think this is the best way of doing it? You know, are you chasing the buck? Are you actually make it, looking to um, inspire yourself and help the world? What, what are you doing with this? Okay. And trust me, it'll come in. It'll come in. And most of the time now I feel that when something doesn't work, it kind of fails on me. It does. When I'm, I get stuck in the in the rat race of things and the way everybody else thinks, and you know, um, if I try to cut corners in my life, my life won't let me anymore. I think I do it to myself. I think the eight of swords comes in, and I don't even realize I'm doing it. But you will start. This will start happening. Okay. The word purity comes to mind. Purity of intent. Purity of vibration. Okay? Look for opportunities as well. Look for opportunities for harmony and making something that's going to keep giving. Okay? It's going to be inspirational. It's going to make you feel this way. It's going to make you feel brand new and wonderful. Um, and like they said with the strength card, it's... um. It's, it's work with the wild part to find between logic and impulsivity. And this is the card of impulsivity. Okay, this is the impulsive, the page of wands. So you're trying to find um, a thing, okay, that's going to bring you stability, 
but is something brand new. And I know some of you um, who have a life number, a certain life number that I've done readings for, you know what I'm talking about. There's the uh, energy of the fool and the energy of stability coming in. And this is the wonderful part, okay? This is the thing that helps you the most. <laughs> Double cards. It is about choices. Definitely choices. Okay? Choose harmony. Um, there's so much out there where uh, people are just getting their hackles up over stuff. They're pointing fingers at everybody. I still remember my father telling me, I think it was my father, somebody, maybe not my father. Whatever, I'll just say it. Remember that when you point, there are three fingers that are pointing back at you. See that? When you point at somebody, you, there are three of these pointing back at you. So who's the problem? Them or you? Um, I've, I've always liked that because it made me think. Anytime I've, I've gotten, you know, my, my knickers in a bunch, like they say, over something. Is it because I don't like it? Is it because I feel personally attacked? Is it because I have a problem with it? Or is it really something that disrupts me, that disturbs me? Now, I know enough now that I get disturbed by people who, who um, spew garbage, especially when it's in it's to prove a point that they're better than anybody else, that their way is a better way. It's really annoying. Um, that really bothers me. Always has. Injustice in this world is, is trying to coerce people into thinking that you're right and that there's no other point of view ever. And that's... I feel that's false. I feel it within my whole self. I feel that while we're busy doing all of this stuff, we're missing the point. And you know, Pisces, I say this, I say this, and I'm not really preaching to you as I say this. I feel more um, affected by the world outside. I feel more affected by people who are doing this on the outside. I don't think in this group, especially my the, the closeness group, group and you know who you are who comment all the time who are here even the ones who don't always comment all the time I feel you there you're always here I don't feel that this is you I feel that this is others but I'm here to and, and you know I'm not going to get cultish on you or anything but I feel that it is our personal responsibility to build a world that's a lot less all of this crap all of this garbage and a lot more about being beautiful, responsible, and um, open human beings, okay? It is the time to be open. And it's not saying that things are going to be terrible, that things are going to be... Um, It's, it's not saying that, you know, I'm, I, it's not saying that everything's going to be perfect. That's what I mean. I mean that, that it's all going to be perfection the way we do it. There's still going to be problems. There's still going to be things to solve. There's still going to be people butting heads. That will never go away. But the way we treat each other, that needs to improve. Absolutely. That needs to improve. It really, really does. And it starts with us, right? It starts with what we consume. Um, it's like anything else. Uh, trends are developed by what you consume. And if people stop consuming hatred, it will quickly... Well, it won't quickly, but it will be diminished by a lot, right? If you discourage that kind of action, it can't help but kind of you know, take a back seat. So let's try to help each other. Let's try to, you know, uplift one another. Okay, so I'm going to take the the, um, the Ancestors deck. I'm going to pull two more cards. 
And then I'm going to call this one done for um, what to expect in 2024. I love the fact that the strength card came in. That's, that's very revealing because I've been talking about that a lot. This is the Tarot de Marseille. The moon, the two pentacles came in, and the magician. So, the ancestors are talking about the differences between illusion and personal power. Um, when you say the word magic, a lot of people think Harry Potter. You know, you wave a wand, something happens and poof, it's there or not there, it's broken or something like that. Um, they think of Merlin, you know. Um, and that, that's okay. Okay, that's, that's fine. But the magic I'm talking about, and this is the illusion, it's not that kind of magic. The magician is about utilizing everything that is around them, everything in nature. You see all the elements being introduced with the magician. That exists, okay? If you look at the wand that's made of wood, or you, it would be the pentacle. We'll, we'll use the pentacle. You use the pentacle that is the earth. We use wood. Oh, we could use it for a wand. Doesn't matter. Just stay with me here, okay? You build houses with that, right? That's a form of magic, is it not? You took something and made it into something else. Yes, it took work and effort, but it still happened. You take wood and then you burn it. That's fire. It created heat. It wasn't there a minute ago. It didn't exist. Is that magic? Could be. You have a river that flows into an ocean. Is that magic? No, it's nature, right? You take water, you can feed a crop, the crop grows. Is that magic? Maybe again. Magic is everywhere. Okay? Even the moon is magic. But we have to adapt to what is good and how we can use things. Even things, as I said, everything is nature. And I've brought this up. Everything is nature is reused over and over again. Okay? Whether it's a fallen tree, whether it's a mushroom that's a fungus, it, they all have specific purposes. And we have to realize that our lives, our lessons, our wisdom, they all have a specific purpose. Maybe we're living in a time of so much garbage so that we can start sifting through it. So that we can start putting importance where it's meant to be. Instead of just haphazardly watching it go by. I feel that it's pushing people to the point where they have to make a decision. So that's the gift and that's the wisdom. And I feel this is what this is. This is not only sifting through that in 2024, but it's moving forward in strength and ability into making beautiful things happen for yourself and in essence for other people too. Okay? Whether it means that you are bringing your best self to a relationship, your best self to an invention, your best self to a career that's going to offer services to people, you are doing it. And that's all that needs to be said, really. That's all that needs to be done. You are wonderful. And you are infinite. You are Pisces. There's no surprise there, my beautiful ones. We're going to rock 2024. Absolutely we will. It's been my pleasure to do all of these readings for you on the, on the last week of December. I have many great aspirations for the new year. Whatever happens, I've decided that 2024 for myself is going to be the year of taking it in stride. Whether that's good, bad, I'm going to do my very best to be there for the people who matter, to help the people who ask, and also to become very successful in my own life. And it will become successful by feeling that success, not by actually um, counting it anywhere on a piece of paper. 
I want every day to feel like I'm actually moving forward in something. That I'm accomplishing things. And that within myself I feel like I'm accomplishing things. How's that for a New Year's resolution? <laughs> anyway, my beautiful Pisces. Tell me what you have in store for 2024. Is there anything you're hoping to accomplish? Go ahead and share that with me. I'd love to hear from you as always. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. And I will see you tomorrow for your January reading. And the first week in January, we're going to go back to our previously scheduled um, programming. <laughs> and uh, we're going to resume readings in the brand new year. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.